All right, hey class, welcome back to the online ukulele tutorials. This is just, uh, if you have an ukulele at home and you want to uh, practice some more, or if you don't have music for a few more days, um, or if you wanna be like ahead of the class when you come to music, um, this is just to help you move along a little bit quicker, um, or to catch up if you need the extra help. It doesn't really matter which one. As long as you're making music, I'm happy. So, uh, in our last video, we talked about the C major chord. In this video, we're gonna talk about the A minor chord. Now just as a reminder, when we're playing, you don't want your ukuleles to look like mine. And what I mean like that is, my head is on this side of the screen, all right? Your ukuleles need to be with their heads on this side of the screen, all right? We're facing different directions. So you don't want yours to look like mine, otherwise you're going to be playing it upside down, uh, which is what we don't want right now. Uh, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's take a look at our A minor chords. Now the minor kind of is a descriptive of the chord itself. It's a sadder sounding chord. It's a little lonesome, a little blue, compared to our C major chord, which is a little more bright. Darker, brighter. A minor, C major. So let's take a look at how to play A minor. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at the neck uh, and the fretboard that lives in the neck. Remember, this is the fretboard and this is the neck. So um, we're gonna look how to play an A minor chord. The way to play an A minor chord is you're gonna find the second fret, or the way I like to describe it, is you're gonna find the second building. Because uh, these are all different buildings. Skinnier buildings, fatter buildings. So we're gonna find the second building and we're gonna live on the one, two, three, fourth floor. And that's how you play the A minor chord. It's just one finger. Now the easiest way to play it that's going to be, the way you're gonna play it that's gonna make it easier to go from chords to different chords is to play the A minor with your middle finger. So we're gonna put our middle finger on the one, two, second building in the one, two, three, fourth, second floor. Now that's gonna be the sound you want. If you're getting this sound, it might be because you're touching some of these other floors below the fourth floor. All right, so we wanna make sure that we're making a hook with our fingers and a hook with our arm as well. And so we get this kind of, if you can see it, where there's space in between this, uh, my fingers and my palm. And that's gonna give us the best sound. Now before you try to strum the chord, as always, remember you want to play every string to make sure you can hear them. And then give the chord a strum. And that's gonna be the A minor chord. Now sometimes, because some of us have littler hands than mine, mine are huge, um, we might be touching this bottom string, this first floor, with our palms. Um, so we just wanna be careful that we're making hooks with our arms and with our fingers, right? I don't want any claws or kind of like holding it like this, all right? Make sure you have good posture that you're not playing lazy. So we're gonna have good posture, make a hook with our hands, second building, fourth floor, and strum. Good. Now go ahead and be my echo. That means I go first, you go second. Ta, 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 ta. My turn. Ta di ta, ta di ta. Ta di ta di ta ta. All right. Ta di di ta ta. All right. Let's see if you can get this one. Here we go. Ta di di. Ta. Good. And it always helps to say the rhythms out loud. So if you didn't say the rhythms out loud, go back, try it again, and make sure you can say those rhythms out loud. That's going to help you get those chords right. Uh, so that was the review of A minor. In the next videos, we're going to talk about uh, putting our C major and A minor chords together and playing some two-chorded songs.